Hey everyone, this is Prince Waterpress, and welcome to back to Super Back to the Future Part Two. We are on round five one. Let's get that shield to the left and let's go. All right, first thing you want to do is well, that's the first thing you don't want to do, going which is crash into those spikes. So far, so good. Those karate guys are gonna be a big pain in the butt when we go through, as we go through this level, and it's gonna get dark as we go through this little part of the ground here. And I could have gotten that thing next to the energy that would have changed all the one points and tens, but so be it. And I just managed to go straight through that wall. Don't go right there, that's just a spike pit, that's just for if you fall later on. There's nothing else over there. And after this, there are some spikes, and with these spikes, you basically just want to wait until they go to the right, and then just plow straight, for, just plow straight behind them and then make your move. And for this one to go to the right, go, 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 there. Simple enough. That one, we're gonna have to wait for it to go to the right, and then we can just take it on from there. Now with this platform, do not move, move around like a moron, or else you're gonna fall into the spike pit below, and you'll have to start that whole climb over. Oh man! You do have to fine tune your movement for whatever reason to make sure you don't hit a spike. Just don't hold the dash button. Just use the D-pad. You should be good. Because we can't fall from that point. And get some more coins just for the heck of it. Don't go left, it just takes you nowhere. And step back to the spike pit. Do not jump at that hill. And now for the part that I wish I would have actually had the shield for. Would have made more sense, but I don't have it, so no scribe or spill merp now is these things. And these things will give you a me. By the time you hit the point, hit the jump with the coins, each jump is going to be like a, a like a sheer mini heart attack. That's basically what these jumps are going to be. And wow, I cannot believe I even made it past that one and that one. But we did it anyway. And now it's time to get past the fans and the balloons. They're annoying with our little faces now, but just you wait until near the end of this stage. And now we have all these springs. And we're nearly at the end here. So let's try to buckle down and get this thing done right. When you when you get when you drop break down and get a sheer slope like that, you know you're at near the end. What you want to do is go all the way right, all the way to the right, and wait for this platform to show up. Now that we got that taken care of, we can and we can actually ride the platform. But that one just only takes you halfway, continuing the spikes if you're not waiting for it to, ready for it to go to the left. Come on, take me, take me. Almost there. Ow. Can't believe that didn't take me where I wanted to go, but you kind of have the general idea of what I was trying to do. Let's see if we can do this again. And... Ooh. Ah! I should have just went straight to the right. Now you see why this why this one stage can be so frustrating at times. Because of all these balloons that are in the way. I tried to record this like three different times. Why did I do that? Ah, uh, that was not fun. Let's see if we can do this again. 
And we can. That was a really dumb mistake on my part. So you can kind of consider my... This part of the LP, what not to do in round 5-1. Alright, this is attempt number 4 now, I think. Hold R. Be prepared to... No? Oh, now! Yeah! Okay. Usually I have run in the balloon, but it takes a while. You just gotta be lucky and just be ready to take pick up balloons and still make it onto that platform and be able to jump over there in time. And Strickland catches young Biff Tannen with with the almanac. Takes away from him for some strange reason. And now we gotta go behind behind the curtain at the enchantment under the sea dance. And at least you don't meet Oh wait, yeah, that's right, this is the sewers now. We gotta get to the school first before we can do anything like that. Sorry guys, but you're gonna have to get some effort into making it all the way to... Mission Point Alpha, I guess. And uh, just take it slow with these spikes. Just take out the karate guys whenever you can. I'm glad I made it over here. I'm really glad that I did. Ow. Well, at least I'm gonna be invisible over invincible at this part. And you're gonna be seeing the doors here shortly. And these are just like the ones we saw in that one part of round four where enemies are going to come out of them and they're going to be really, really annoying. So just do your best to just avoid the doors entirely because you don't want to be in front of the door and one of those guys pops out. Now we got the soda guys from round round one, one I think. Unlike last time, their refreshments will be rather high usefulness, I guess you could say. And I don't know why some of those are just moving all very sharply to the right. I guess it's the game trying to be funny or something. And yeah, you basically have to use the jump attack to get up there with the cans. It ain't gonna be the last time you're gonna be doing that. I guarantee it. And... More Karate Guys. Enough with the Karate Guys game. going right here. No? Oh, I guess it doesn't give me anything. Thought maybe it did. Well, if you're needing a life over there, there will be one over there and it costs 100 coins. Apparently it doesn't show up because I'm still maxed out and I haven't died in forever, which is weird. Stop it! Yeah. Oh, whoa! Glad I was able to still maneuver because every other platform over there just seems to want to disappear on me for some reason. And invincible, invincible, invincible! Go for the goal! Go for the goal! Go for the goal! It shouldn't be long now. Yes. And we find out that he was really hiding the girly mag and the jacket for the almanac, and it was ooh la la, the little girly mag. And now Doc Brown has to tell, uh, bleh, Marty has to tell Doc Brown what's going on, and now they got to make it to do the enchantment under the sea dance and confront Biff there and get the book from him. And With that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one there here. Huh. I just now noticed that they spell enchantment completely wrong on that poster. Enchant me. Or amchant me. I don't know. Anyway, 
this is Prince Watercrest, and next time we try not to screw up what's progress we made in Back to the Future 1, which shouldn't be too hard. And, well, because that's not really happening in the game. And we try to get the Almanac back. So, until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe.